Right. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? You might notice my background is a little different. I'm at my brother-in-law and sister's house in uh, New York, upstate. I have my mom and Mike, my brother-in-law, are eating Chinese food in the background. <laughs> I just had a little, it was delicious. We had sweet and sour chicken. So uh, how are you guys doing tonight? Good to see you guys. Are you all tuning in to see the big announcement? Hi, Carol from Liverpool. Hey, Brenda and Lisa, Charlotta. Let's see, Glum, Donna, Carol, Diane. Good to see you guys. Do you have a good weekend? Hi, Karen Gartland. Donna Baker, Hillary Christine. Good to see everybody. Might be a good idea to turn the volume on. Hey, Amy. All right. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying I didn't have the volume. <laughs> and that has happened. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Lenine. Okay. Well, yeah, you had a great weekend. That's good. We did too. I drove up here to New York. It was uh, not great. We had a lot of uh, rain, but we made it. So today, mom and I, we went to the drugstore. We got some medicine for her. What else did we do, Mom? She did her puzzle. She was working on it all day and just finished it. Mike was working upstairs. So my sister is out at her friend's visiting her friend. So that's good. And so, hey, Maria. Hi, Angie. Where am I at? I am in uh, Shokan, New York, upstate. Hey, Wendy Jean. You just came home from a Michael Buble concert. Wow, cool. Good, guys. Okay. Well, we have a lot going on tonight and a very special announcement. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes, but let's talk about, um, we do have winners for the Spring Fling Craft Along, but I think what I'm going to do is post them in the Spring Fling group because that's who's really affected by it. So um, I was going to announce it here, but I'll just wait and put it over there. So Congratulations to the winners. I will post that up after. Hi, Angela Crocker. Yes, he is a cool guy. He sounds great. Hi, my scrapbook loft. Hey, Sarah Lizzie. So um, I'm hoping that I can get to um, something in our little junk journal that we started. Uh, I'm not sure how much I have with me. I don't know what I was thinking when I packed, but not too much. So I do have some stuff. I'll do what I can. But um, what I really want to talk about is an event that we have coming up on May 18th. And I am so excited because I met my hero, <laughs> May May, uh, at Creativation. And we got together talking and um, we made a plan. And we are going to have an event together. She is actually going to come and do our Thursday live. So May 18th at four o'clock, I gave May May some dyes and she is going to test them out on the show. Isn't that amazing? We're going to have, she's like a YouTube star. You guys need to go. Um, let me see. Yes, it is a beautiful view out here. Let me give you her. Uh, if you, you know, if you haven't subscribed, you should, there is her channel. She is just the greatest crafter I have ever seen. And she has her husband Vinny on with her and also um, Shannon, who is kind of a right-hand man, woman. And um, they just do amazing, amazing projects. So you are going to get so hooked on watching May May. I hope you will still come back here. Um, but we are going to, I'm so excited about this event that we're going to do together. So I hope that you'll join us. And in advance, you can go over and watch a couple of her videos and see her style. And I know you're going to love it. So that is my big announcement. I'm really honored to have her on the channel because I, I have to tell you, I was, uh, one time I was doing a Sizzix, um, it was like a trade show online, a video, a uh, virtual trade show. And I happened to look over in the comments and I saw that May May was there and I like choked. I was so uh, nervous after that <laughs> because she is truly one of the best crafters I've ever met. 
So I love watching her. I've gotten a lot of good ideas from her. Also, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please do. That would be great. So um, anyway, that is my big announcement. So I will be posting the um, little ads that we have going on. I hope that you will join the event and come and watch along with us, guys. Okay. So let me see what you're saying about that. They are sweet people. May May sent me to your channel. Oh, thanks, farm wife. Oh, good. That's great. See, that's how it all works. We're supposed to help each other, and I love it. Um, oh, wow. Good morning in Shawnee. I'm not going to even attempt to say that, but it's from San Jose. Good to see you, Margaret. It is very exciting. So, okay. Um, hey, Chris, how are you? Yes, it's very fun to do collaborations. You know, it's like how we are in the group. Uh, and it also, if anyone has not joined the Eileen Hall Fan Club, come on over and join because we do a lot of great stuff in there. And um, just make sure you answer the questions before, um, you know, when when you apply because we, we do ask that uh, you answer them. Hey, Taylor, how are you? Um, I can't stay on too long because I have a call with Taylor in a little bit at 7 o'clock. So we're going to just move along here. So anyway... Thanks, everybody. I hope that you come to our event. It's going to be amazing. Oh, good, Wilma. Aw, thanks. Yeah. I will be honored to be on the channel with Mei Mei. So I know you're going to love her. So anyway, that is our big announcement. So um, I think the next thing that we're going to do is I got a new webcam today. So we're going to test that out and see how that works. And um Mom is working on her egg roll over there. <laughs> she was so happy that she finished the puzzle right before we um, we got our food. So she is still looking at it. It was of um, like sea creatures, little turtles and fish and stuff. And it was harder than she thought. So anyway. <laughs> She's leaning over. Okay. So let's... Um, I did want to show you something today, and if you didn't see the live from the um, Scrapbook Expo, I just want to show you a couple projects that I got from one of my two, new team members, Margaret, Side and Stick, and so I just wanted to show you what she had made, and let's see, how am I going to do this? Let's turn this camera over here and take me out of solo and put this and i'm hoping that it goes the right direction yes here we go okay so let me show you what uh, margaret did so she made this really cool folder out of wait a minute, let me get this here i wanted to show them lined up together so you could see how they were made so she made this really cool folder out of packaging. I mean, isn't that amazing? And yes, that was her demoing, uh, Belinda. That was her de demoing the hot wax seals. So she did this and she made this really cute little waterfall in here. And she used one of our pockets from the dies and added little cards. I just love that. I think that is so cute. And it's recycled, you know, gotta love it. So that was one thing. And then she also made a little frame pocket journal. Whoops, it upside down. Do you want the rice? Hi, Glum. It's not oh. even letting you choose. Sure. Okay, all right. They're, they're having more rice. Here is this cute little journal, also with another little, um, what do you call that thing? I just said it, waterfall. <laughs> and this real pretty paper. Look at that. She added some vellum. I love vellum. Mine is all stiff, though. I don't have that soft stuff. And then added this cool, and these are the rub-ons that she added. It actually looks like stitching, don't you think? It's amazing. Yes, I love this book, too. I oh, and look at this. This is the little library pocket. So she, she just changed the fold. Actually, she added a score line here. I made a little pouch and added some of these cute little um, cut apart things. So anyway, that was from Margaret. 
And what I wanted to do today was to add on to, oh wait, there was one other thing. She gave me this and also a couple uh, t-shirts from the store that she works in. But this is that sticky folio. And I had been looking at them and they had them over at the um, store, um, Scrapping in the City at the expo. And then Margaret, we went out to dinner and she gave me this. So I wanted to show you, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it is, sorry about the crinkling here. This would drive me crazy. My sister also has that. If you crinkle a Walmart bag, she will go insane. <laughs> right, Mike? You're all insane. I mean, crinkly. <laughs> What are you saying about my sisters and I? <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It comes in a couple different colors. The purple is really pretty. Let me move this laptop back a little. So it's like this little folio. And then there are pages inside. I haven't set mine up yet. I just opened it. But what you do is you take one of these little folders here. And inside are two pieces of well it's like a folded paper and this is sticky little dots and so if you put something in here you would put the back on here close it burnish it and it would be sticky isn't that cool hi deborah allman how are you hey judy i know it's so cool so i can't wait to set this up i think it comes with four and here's your little burnisher so I love it. Thank you, Margaret. And also for my t-shirts, they fit perfectly. So um, what we were going to do tonight, the other day, we started our little card case. And I had a couple ideas of things that I wanted to do with this. I didn't bring everything with me, though. But I did make some notes. And... Shoot, I'm looking for, I have this little piece of lace that I want to put right here. Can you guys see okay? You've seen something similar to that sticky see? paper. It's like a Xyron, but flat. Yeah. Um, so here is, this was our card case. And if you want to see the first one that we did, that was uh, last Thursday. We cut this and we added this part of the um to our cover we adhered these things and we got our in outside done so now i'd like to kind of talk about the other things that you can put in a junk journal and what you might want to put in a junk journal and i brought some samples of stuff and i <laughs> i took some out of my sister's drawers here and hope they don't mind but there's an ad for new york so if you have a brochure from somewhere that you've gone or somewhere that you want to go, you know, or even if you just want to cut out that I love New York journal, it would depend on what kind of junk journal you're making. But it, you could do a little travel journal and use a lot of these that you would get from, um, you know, those tourist stops that you go to. Or if you get a cool ad, like I thought this was really cool. You know, you could cut out these little things that you thought were cute or look at that little barn is neat or the vegetables or you know whatever it is you could cut this up and put this in and that even has a nice little piece on the back that you could use for notes or you could fold it in half and use it as a page so just be looking at everything as stuff to put in your junk journals here's another one i've been doing the watercolors and i, I was thinking that is a great view of a coneflower so i could use that and put that in my book and kind of then I'm maybe on the other page do a version of my my watercolor so anyway just take whatever you have and um, use that for your junk journals okay here's some other now this is a little more normal but this is just paper you know like this was probably cut off from something I don't know I got it from their drawers also this uh, you know, so you could trim this down and um, use this for a page. Um, this is some coffee dyed paper well that I've done. Well done. And um, oh, they're done. oh, now they're going for dessert. Mom's on her third attempt at this. What was it, Mom? Peanut butter. Peanut butter pie. What was that? Um, I don't know. Well, she keeps trying to eat it, but it still <laughs> keeps it's replicating itself. <laughs> it's like weighs five pounds. Um, 
So here are some uh, here? other different pieces of more. paper, yeah. you know, you that I've here? coffee dyed. Oh, so she wants to go. Yeah. Here's some vellum. See, mine is thicker, mm -hmm. but it's still pretty. Here's some of that workbook page, some music pages. This is watercolor paper. You can put that in there. You can put scrapbook paper, you know, front and back, or just plain. I think that's some more watercolor paper. Hey, Mitziana. Hey, Angela. You keep words and display letters from these sorts of flyers. Yes, that would be a great idea. I also like to use wrapping paper because it's kind of different sizes and you can sometimes use this on things that your eight and a half by 11 wouldn't fit on. So uh, here's some more. These are just little scraps that I kept, a, a brown paper bag, um, dictionary page. You know, these are kind of the typical things that you might use. And I do keep my scraps because these are nice for like little bookmarks or even just to stamp a word on and tuck in a pocket. So in other words, I keep all of it. <laughs> I know none of you do that, but I do. Here is, um, this is actually, mom, I have a certificate from Grandpa Mamich. Um, this is something that I found in some old papers and I scanned it and kept it. And that's my mom's dad. So um, it's kind of that? in the family. Well, it's, I don't know if she mm -hmm. could see. <laughs> Not yeah. really. She doesn't care about it. That's all right. I care about Grandpa Mamich. <laughs> I'm teasing her. That's <laughs> um, okay, so these are some more just pages that I have. And, you know, some of them I put some ink on. This is some baking paper, I think, or parchment paper. I don't know, whatever you call it. It's like a glassine kind of. And I did tea dye this, and it's nice and crinkly. It has a good sound to it. This is kind of just a piece of cardboard. And anyway, whatever you guys have, whatever's on your desk or whatever you want to use, use it. Um, here's some more boss stuff. So what I thought I would do tonight was take my cover, and I want to cover that with pattern paper. And the reason that I'm doing that, oh, here's some grid paper. That's always good. Even if it's written on, that's all right. So I was going to glue that on the inside. And the reason that I'm doing that is, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way, um, because it's very thin. It would be the same idea as using like a tissue paper. And it's not going to get all kind of clogged up and, you know, have these seams have a problem I don't want to do that so I am I tore some off before and I'm just going to add this on here and then we'll have a um, you know some covering for the inside of our book and if it's crinkled up that's fine I kind of like how that looks that's all right I'm just trying to figure out where I what I'm doing here. <laughs> Okay, she thinks I'm weird. She says, <laughs> oh, mother. I don't think she gets that I'm, she thinks I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Which I may be. I haven't looked up in a while. It could very well be. All right, and if it's torn, I don't care about that either. So I'm going to go in and go over this and add a little bit more. That parchment paper put in oven and make light brown. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Um, Belinda, I found some of your um, papers while I was looking through, so I will maybe add some of them too. I only brought a couple of each thing because I, and it already is ridiculous at how much I brought. You know, it's hard to leave anything home. So I'm just doing this. And, you know, if I have a little bit by the edge here, I can trim that. I did not bring my blade with me, so. I can't do it now, but I could even add other little scraps, you know, if I wanted to um, change this out a little bit. I didn't bring enough. I don't know where it is. Oh, the other thing, I have a list of uh, items that I will write out and post in the group just for reference of things that you might want to use in your junk journals, and I'll read them and. Uh, 
we can talk about them because I think you can see from the ad, like old maps are great, but I didn't have any with me. So then I'm just going to tear this off here. And then later I could take a sanding block and just kind of smooth that out a little bit if I want, or I don't have to. This one is really pretty primitive, you know, so I'm not even going to worry about that. That looks kind of nice. Just make sure you get everything tacked down. And then today, uh, I was hoping to add a little book, but we'll see how that goes. All right, we're going to read in there. You know, I to use the oven fire hazard every time your dad hit <laughs> Carol's cooking. Uh-oh, that sounds like me, Carol. Okay, here's some... Um, let me just go through this list, okay? And we can look through it. Maps are really fun. So those, you know, you can get anywhere. They have a lot of vintage ones you could buy, or maybe you have them. Um, I found a lot in my dad's stuff. Paper of any kind, gift wrap, tissue paper, old receipts, wallpaper, patterns. I meant, by that I meant this, like sewing patterns. Graph paper, file folders. Now, some of these are different materials, so you're going to have some that are thick and some that are thin, and that's great. Copy paper, tea dyed or coffee dyed, embossed paper, lace trim, ads, magazine pages, dictionary pages, old book pages, envelopes. Those are really fun, and we're going to do a whole thing about them. Uh, die cuts that you have left over, fabric, felt, charms, belly bands, stamps, stencils, bags, whatever you have on hand, throw them in your book, you know, it's, um, it's really fun. Okay, let's see how this is going here. Let's see what else I have. These are some other things I have, um, and I might just add that in. Why not? I was just going to do the sewing pattern, but, you know, be, be flexible. Whatever, whatever shows up, be open to it might be the perfect thing that you want to put in there. Uh, let's see. Let's go like that. I, I am keeping with thin materials, though, because I don't want them getting, you know, to be a problem when I open and close my book. So this is not going to be a problem at all. It's so thin. All right, let's see what else we have. I can't figure out what I did with the rest. Oh, maybe some of this stuff. That might be good. Kind of clear. Let's see if it tears. So, are you guys excited to meet May May? You are going to love her. I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> Those adorable napkins. Oh, a napkin would be great. Yes, very thin. Yeah, that would work great. Mm, it's not as. I kind of wanted it. No, that might be a good size. Maybe over here. There's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just plopping stuff down. I think the less you think about it, the better, because then it's more random and it's just junk. Maybe. Hmm. Kind of want to cover. No, oh, that's okay. So have you guys done these before? I used to be nervous to do them, but I kind of got into it. They're very freeing. It's junk, whatever junk you want. And really, I just want this so that there's something to look at here. And think about it when you close, you know, you're only going to see a little at a time. Well, I guess you might see the whole thing if you leave it open. Now, I did make some pockets, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. I'm kind of thinking not, because I want to um, do maybe some little books in here. What I was thinking was um, I want to do a book that's going to tuck into a belly band. So I did get some papers, and let's cut them down. I thought this was pretty. And it's soft. It's just a piece of tissue paper. But I did have some. Which I, yeah, here. I started a little book. These are very even, but they don't have to be. But to fit in here, it's not that big. So, you know, we can fold it. We could actually make like a little pocket here and fold that in half. 
this is going to be very um, light though, you know what I mean? But it gives it kind of a nice little bulk or it could go this way, maybe that's better. And again, if that's sticking out of the top or bottom, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, what else we have? Oh, the other thing was bags. Let me see. Yeah, I, <laughs> here's an envelope, but I don't, oh, and here, I love this. Look at this. I was going to uh, tea dye this and just put a piece of this fabric in here. You need to try making one. What about an insert book of pockets? That would be a great idea. You're excited about my name, but you're a little biased. <laughs> oh, hey, Tamitha. Tamitha. That is such a cool name, but I think I'm saying it. Yes, Mei Mei is so amazing. She's so much fun. I love hanging out with her. All right, now this is something I was thinking. Now, and you can use dyes, too. Like, this is one that, um, oh yeah, I was going to use this, actually. So I was going to put that in a corner so you could tuck little cards in there or something. So let's save that. And this, I thought, was really cool. I used this last time, and this is the one that I was trying to find. Let's see, we've got a pile of junk. <laughs> Forget it. I kept tucking it in that little pocket, and right now I don't know where it went. Shoot. Well, and I'll turn up after the show. Now, here's the pocket that I made, and I thought that was cute, but you know what? It could go on the outside. You know, I if I hadn't done that, I might have added it. But it, I, I could also use this in another book, so I'm not, you know, worried about it. I'll, I'll use it somewhere. I, I made two of those. Now, the other thing is envelopes. These are really fun because you can use this part. Now, this is a really big window, but you could fold that in half and have, like, a little card and a pocket inside. So we're gonna do a whole thing about this, but you know, think about that, that you could add little pictures inside or journaling cards and have that be part of your inserts. The little postage stamp die would be perfect. Yes, and I did bring my little, oh wait, maybe that's one of my laces. Mm, no, it was this really pretty flower, but it was pretty big. Yeah, so all of these could go in. This was another thing. This was um, a napkin that I had uh, decoupaged on here. And I thought that would be cute to tuck in somewhere, you know. And the thing that I like about it is it doesn't have to have any pattern or meaning or anything. It's just whatever you want to put in here. So that's why whatever's on your desk, that would work. So... Um, that's what I was thinking here. So let's see what else we have. Um, here's an envelope. This was my Mother's Day card to mom. But I mean, I could even fold that in half. I think that's a really pretty color. And I could like lick that. And this would even make a nice little tuck. You know, I could just glue it down here, fold this. And so, you know, there's always something that could be made out of these fun little things. So I'd have to go that way. So I don't know if I would tuck something up that way, but it might work. Anyway, there's always something that you can do with all these cute little pieces of paper and lace and trim. All right, let's see. I'm now determined to find this little thing because I want to glue it on there so I don't have to worry about it losing it again. And don't you know? Oh, that is just so annoying. All right, well, I don't know where it is. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to show you, and we'll do one of these classes also, but these are little hidden paper clips. And so the way these work, and I think I showed you the other day, is you can have your little insert book and you can just tuck these over the top of your page or the side. Let me just get this one opened up here. So it'll stay because there's a paper clip inside. Or you could clip something to your page and have this sticking out. Now, because we're closing this up, it may not be quite as uh, 
you know, good to do it sideways, but um, anyway, I have a bunch of these and I was kind of working on them. Let me just show you because they're so cute. I decorated the front and back because when you turn page, you know, you're going to see what's there. And I just thought these were fun little things that I already had cut out and ready to go. And so I just made these little paper clips. So we'll do a thing on how to make these maybe next week, okay? Um, so let's put our book together and just do something because I want to get something done here. I mean, we did today, but it's kind of hard because I'm not at home with all my stuff. You guys know. Yes, tiny magnets. That would be cute. And again, you don't have to use the same size paper. You could do a little one with just a word on it. These are some fun kind of little flashcards. So that one I inked around. You don't have to ink around, but you can if you want to. Here's a cute little page. This was, remember that nail polish I showed you, that glitter gold nail polish? Well, that's what it looks like. Isn't that cool how that just kind of shines? That was like Big Lots um, nail polish. <laughs> now these are about the same, so I'm not going to put them next to each other. So let's see what else do we have here. Uh, oh, this paper bag. This is a little big, but that could be folded and made into... I'm not going to do it because that one's kind of big. I do have little ones, but I apparently didn't bring any. But uh, what else? Here's a piece of paper. This is another thing that we did the other day. We were inking it and then adding some gesso to it. So this is a little tall, but we could we can use this for a page and then cut it down. So I found this in my sister's stuff. Looks like that might have come from Dad's house too. And um, oops, I realized I also moved my webcam, but it's working pretty good. I had it delivered here, so. That was kind of fun to get that today. So I'll just cut that down to the right height. And we can add that in there. And, you know, you might say, that is a mess. <laughs> You'd be right. These actually look too clean, so I might put that inside. And if they fan out a little, I'm not going to worry about that on in this book. The only thing that I have to worry about is if it's too wide to go in this binding here and it turns out that they are so i'm gonna have to trim this down a little bit so i'll just tear this down and sorry i am making a big mess as usual but it's kind of fun i don't mind a mess i like to have stuff around me to work with i don't know how you guys are but i like it and I think this one, these two are probably too big, too. So let's cut these off. Are you getting the idea of junk journal? It's junky. <laughs> and messy and fun. I like the torn edges. All right. So let's see what we have here. Fun little book. Carol Lewis, thank you. I do have a good... Old big shot and how many folders the big styles. Ah. All right, see, so here that's a little pocket. I have to glue that. There's a little piece. Yeah, this is fun. So what I was thinking of doing, and I might want to decorate it a little bit. Let's make sure it's gonna fit. Yeah, it's only this piece that is um wrinkled up a little, but that's all right. So there are a couple things that we could do. We could staple this in the middle, you know, just take uh, a, what do you call that, long reach stapler, put one here and one here. I like to put the nice smooth side on the outside, so I would lay that down, staple, staple. You could do your pamphlet stitch, you know, poke three holes here and stitch that together. I don't think I have a needle, so I can't do it. Um, you could also glue the centers, and that would keep them together. 
that's going to make it permanent. You can't really add stuff. So you have to think about that. You could also take some elastic and put that right here or right here in one of these little slots and that would hold it in. Um, what I was thinking was I wanted to make a belly band. So let's see what we have here that we can use. You're going to want something that's fairly strong. Oh, here's an envelope that I decorated. And this is a, a security envelope. This is a bank, TD bank envelope. And I just covered that with a bunch of paper. And then you can, you know, either make like this be a little pocket. I love that you can see through that. Um, but anyway, I'll show you more about that. But, um, let's see. Let me see something fairly strong to make a belly band. I'm looking for my scrap of paper because there was a piece that was all right. I don't know where that went. I don't know where this stuff is going here, guys. Well, you know what? Let's use this. I don't think my sister will mind if we use that. Because this is nice and strong, and I can also use this as kind of a guide. Or actually, I can use this going this direction. And maybe I'll just take this one right here and we'll tear it down. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of room for a book, but that we don't need a lot. So I'm just going to tear this and tear this, okay? And then I'm going to take it and put it over my book and I'm going to fold this down. I do want to have a little give here because this might be a little bit short actually. I want to have enough room that I can slide it in. Oh, Mike is reading this book. So what I would do is just kind of glue this in here. And then I can slip my book through there and get that in and out. So the postage stamp. Yes, the postage stamp would be great for that, you know? We could even add them on on top of it, you know, and just use this as a base and cover it. I think that would be really pretty. And that is a great idea, Belinda. I'm glad I looked up. Yes. Nice. Okay. So you could put it, I probably put it in the middle so it will, you know, slip in right there. Let's make sure and just test. I don't know. There's a lot of pages in here. So maybe I will put it over here and slip it in through the spine would be easier. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. So this is really messy, but you guys get the idea. I just don't have all my stuff. So what can you do? You have to improvise. All right. But I love the idea of covering that. So I'm going to kind of scrunch that into the middle a little so you can see I have room for it here. And okay, very good. Old playing cards. Yeah, that would be great. To me, junk journal is more of a recycled treasures journal. Yes, I love that. Yeah. So we could decorate this. We could add a lot of stuff to it. But look at that. How cute. All right, so let's add some of these. This is just pretty. Let's see, I have a bunch of them here. And we, this is kind of neutral, so I'm just gonna add, this is actually a picture of a sunflower. Maybe I'll do it like um, kind of staggered, you know, kind of like a puzzle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And even if we see that coming through, that's fine. Ooh, that's pretty. But see, that's getting too colorful. I'm trying to keep it kind of neutral. Um, text is pretty neutral. All right, let's do that. I don't know about the pink, not super ne ne neutral, but oh, wait a minute. How about this? 
Don't say that. <laughs> See, this kind of blends in. So let's do, oh, what happened to my glue? Nuts here. Good thing I happen to have to glue a lot of stuff on. Now this, whoa, this is from the, it's a disaster. I hope that didn't break or crack in my, in my trip. Um, this is the mini slimline die. Just make sure that you're not, I'm gonna take this out because I don't want this to stick to it. I'm gonna just let that dry. And down there. I had a lot of stuff in the car. I was bringing up the last of um, items from Virginia. So, I don't know, this might have had a leak. Mm. I think I got blue there. All right. Well, I can put something heavy on this and let it sit for a minute. The other thing we could do is tear something off, or this maybe would hold it down. And I'm not, you know tied to keeping it all in straight lines or anything. What would I be? I just want to make sure that I have room over here to still close my stuff. Right. This is so pretty, but that is not neutral at all. Fabric swatches or paint cards. Yes, that would be great. All right, and I think I'm going to let that show through a little. What is going on here? Maybe it just was upside down. I don't know. All right. So the other thing that I will probably do is decorate the cover of my book. Just, But not too much because I don't want it catching. So if I had my clips with me, I would put one right here. I'm going to close up my glue because I don't think that's doing so hot. All right. So anyway, that's one way that you could put a book in. So that's kind of cute, don't you think? Oh, I like that. I like this green hanging off the edge there. I'm going to take this out because I'm going to let that dry, okay? So the other thing that I was thinking I would like to put inside is I could do like a cut down waterfall um, here, you know, that might be cute. I could do a library pocket. I could do a lot of 3D stuff in here because it's used to having that pocket, but um, we're not putting them in. So we have a lot of room in here. So we could put a couple different books if we wanted. Postcards, playing cards, business cards, greeting cards are all good things to add to junk journals. Thank you. What else do you guys put in? Burp the bottle, loosen the cap a smidge. Thank you. All right, let's do that. Yeah, I don't know if I can open it. This is kind of my reserve travel one. Let's see. I don't have a thing to wipe that off with. So after the show, I will do that. All right, I know it's messy, but... You guys get the idea. So anyway, what time is it? I think that I am going to end for now. But we did add the inside. I probably am going to go ahead and cover this a little bit more. And I'll probably take my sanding block and go around the edges and, you know, get rid of this stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it hanging out. This is really messy, guys. I, You know me. I'm not really that messy, but I I get on Jags and then it's like, oh, I'm a disaster. <laughs> so I, I like that. And um, I like my little book. So I can still add, maybe I might add a little bit more, but not too much because then it will be too fat to go in here. And I like that just fine. So I even like that the papers go in that direction. 
And um, so I think I'm going to end for today. And I just, oh, here it is. Oh, yes, I found it. Okay, remember the other day I found that piece of lace that I don't know where it came from. Maybe somebody's dress somewhere. But I want to add that right there because I think that's really cute. And I, the whole time I was like, no, I'm not going to do it until I can do it on the show. And let everyone have the satisfaction of watching that get glued on there. So <coughs> the only thing is here, I want to kind of back this a little bit so that I don't glue this closed. So let's put this in here. This is slick, so that's going to hopefully come out. Doesn't want to, yeah, okay. So we'll just glue this on top. Isn't that cute? I think that's perfect. What do you guys think? Old cigarette colors would be great. Very vintage, yes. Okay. You can smush bottle caps in Big Shot. Oh, I haven't tried that. All right, Carol Lewis, what is, <laughs> what is she saying? Oh, good, Lenine. Okay, <laughs> need muscles. All right, I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, oh, you know what? One other thing we can do for today, because I think I do want this over here. This is from the page folio, wait, folio page pocket and flowers. This is from a couple releases ago, but this would be great. And that's where we could tuck all those little cards and stuff. So let's just do this while we have the glue out. And then I think we're good. So thanks for coming, guys. And I hope you can come back Thursday. I will be home and have all my stuff. And maybe we'll do the envelopes. I am going to kind of pucker this a little bit. Remember how we did that the other day? Because I want to have a little bit of room to put stuff in here. We have the dimension. We have plenty of room. So... I'm going to allow space in there for stuff, okay? And in the meantime, I'll look around for more junk. And look at this thing. What the heck? Anyway, so thanks to all our friends from May May's uh, group. Thanks for coming over and joining us. And um, we will see you again on Thursday at 4 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, I'm so glad you guys came. That was fun, even though I don't have all my stuff. It was slightly frustrating, but that's okay. <laughs> I could even add a little lace over here. That would be pretty, wouldn't it? I want to have it open. I don't know if that's going to stay, but we can give it a try. All right. Oh, thanks, Glum. Yes, if you need any dyes, go ahead over. If you haven't joined the fan club, please go and do that. If you haven't uh, followed me on YouTube, that would be great. And um, on Instagram, I'm there, Eileen Hall, that would be good too. And just stay tuned for what's going to happen when we get May May over. We're going to have a good time, guys. So make sure you're here on May 18th, okay? All right, everybody. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Oops.